Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown, disassemble a laptop. And let me show you the model here. This is the Asus model FX506L. So when I take things apart and I'll explain to you what are the things that you can upgrade. So for example, like your hard drive, maybe the RAM, maybe change out the battery or the CPU fan, things like that I'll walk you through in this video and I'll kind of explain to you what you expect when you um, take it apart, all right? So the first thing I like to do is to get just, uh, myself a Phillips screwdriver. This is a Phillips uh, PH1, a regular Phillips. We're gonna remove the screws here. So the screws, the two screws on the top center is a lot longer. That, that is the longest screws and then the rest is a lot shorter and especially the one at the bottom left would be the shortest okay I'll show it to you uh, in just a second so there are four screws on the top kind of three screws in the middle The bottom left here, the very bottom left is a lot shorter. That is the shortest screw. The bottom middle is kind of the same as the rest. And the one at the bottom right, this screw right here does not come off. All right, so the bottom right, when you keep twisting it, you can hear that little click, click, click. That means the screw is ready for you to pry it open. The reason why the screw does not come off is it allows you to push the uh, back cover like this so that you can uh, get a plastic prying tool and pry it open. So that screw does not mean to come off. All right, and you can just lift the entire back cover up so here you can see that um, I have additional of the NVMe M2 SSD drive install. So that would be my secondary. The primary one is on this here. Um, I make a separate video on how to upgrade the NVMe M2 solid state drive. Please go ahead and check down in the link description below. Uh, I'll link it down in, and you can go check it out. Also, I have a separate video to show you how to upgrade the DDR4 RAM. In this video, I'm just taking it apart and I'll be removing um, the add-on add stuff that I did. So the original computer comes with just one hard drive um, and also one RAM. Alright, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. By disconnecting the battery, you just have to slide the connector down. There are two screws holding down the battery, left and right, and then the entire battery will just come right off. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, go look up the model here, B31N1726. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'll link them down in the description below. We will direct you to either Amazon or eBay for the, uh, the battery replacement where you can find the parts. All right, removing that Phillips screw and slide the hard drive to your left. And that's how you remove the original hard drive. This is just a bracket to cover up the uh, M2 drive. Wi-Fi, the white wire goes on top, the black one is at the bottom. You can simply just lift it up. Get the Phillips screwdriver, remove that screw, and then slide it to your left at 45 degree angle. This is your CPU fan to disconnect, very simple, pushing the connector away from your body. There are three screws holding down to the fan.
once you have removed the these three screws you can see if you can slide it out all right that is a CPU fan you can just slide it off but you have to lift the uh, heat sink a little bit if you're not sure where to find the parts let's look it up here uh, probably it says Asus I believe the part would be DQ5D 577K002 all right let's go ahead and disconnect the LCD cable you need to flip open that clipper that clipper is to secure the LCD pin let's go ahead and remove that that goes to the top and this is your CPU fan slide it to the right that's the connector and this is your speaker just slide it down okay the speaker is pretty straightforward you just remove that and there you go and this is the charging port the DC jack so you have to slide the connector away from your body so that direction what I like to do is to remove the two screws that two screws is holding down the hinge at the same time is holding down the DC jack connector so all you have to do is just simply lift it up and that DC jack connector will just come right off okay now let's go ahead and remove the CPU fan slide it down towards the body lift the heatsink up a little bit alright so I'm gonna start disconnecting the cable that is for your keyboard lighting flip open the little clipper and slide the cable to your left open up the clipper slide the keyboard cable down open up the clipper slide this thing for the trackpad and this is probably for the USB all we have to do is and then just slide it down all right let's go ahead and remove the two screws here on the top left we are going to lift up the hinge so lift the hinge up at this point the entire keyboard should just come right off okay the entire keyboard will just, just come right off so if you want to do a keyboard replacement unfortunately you would have to remove the whole thing and change the one piece together okay now to remove the motherboard first you need to disconnect this cable right here okay flip open the clipper disconnect the flex cable the motherboard has a few screws that's holding down to it let's go ahead and remove that two screws there are three screws in total and the entire motherboard would just come right off okay now the heat sink you can remove as well so there are four screw one two three four five six seven eight on the other side the cpu and the graphics card once you remove the four screw the heat sink will just pop right off and you can just go ahead and apply a new thermal paste uh, clean it out to kind of uh, you know make the uh, motherboard more cooler um, there you go that's the motherboard and the entire keyboard is here again the keyboard is not replaceable unfortunately you will have to replace the whole thing and this is your LCD screen I wonder why they make this hole right here you can see that my gloves my finger is running through across it and imagine that the motherboard is here and you spill water on top of the keyboard on here immediately immediately the keyboard on oh, sorry the motherboard will just fry this plastic here is not going to prevent 
the moisture from going through it so it's a bad design if you ask me all right so i'm going to put everything back together um less talking i'm just going to speed it up and put things back together make sure all the cables are sitting above the motherboard that's what you need to have is to make sure the cable is going back on top of the motherboard okay at the same time i'm going to just put the three screws in holding down the motherboard you need to slide the keyboard back in okay you just have to tuck underneath that hinge to slide it back in here comes the usb on the side connector keyboard all you have to do push it all the way in close it down back lighting close it down speaker push it in that little lighting keyboard on the top cover it up okay DC jack go back in it there and then make sure you close the hinge down screws going back to the right side of the fan connector goes back in LCD cable slide it in close it down make sure the clipper is closed now you just have to tuck in the cable there's a little gap where you can tuck it in so tuck it in and just kind of tape it down Close the hinge down. CPU fan, slide it in. This CPU has three screws. Let's go ahead and put all the three screws back. Wi-Fi card, the bottom slot, slide it in at 45 degree angle to your right, get the screw back in, white cable goes on top, the back, the black one goes at the bottom, uh, all you have to do is just align the circle on top of each other, they're kind of like Lego make sure you have them in a position and you can just press it in and it'll, it'll clip it in together the alignment is important don't force it in okay because you do not want to bend the circle CPU fan goes back in get the uh, solid state drive slide it in at 45 degree angle okay push it down have the uh, screw go back in it double check if you miss anything one here here install speaker this install pretty much that's it and the battery align the battery push it back in 
Just gonna slide the battery back the connector to the top. Two screws for the battery. And that's pretty much it. Have the uh, cover goes back on top. Clip, clip it in. Press it down. All right, the two screws here on the top center are the longest. The rest of it are about the same. Three in the middle. Two in the center bottom. And the shortest one goes to the bottom left. All right, so I think that would be it. The complete teardown on the ASUS laptop, FX506L. If you have any question, please comment below. I do reach a comment and I'll answer you if you have any question regarding about your computer. Um, if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and click the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. What I wanted to tell you is that if you're not sure where to find the parts or the upgrade stuff, please go ahead and check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement from. All right, there you have it. The complete teardown on the Asus laptop. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.